Stöcke. There are lots of old designs for donkey straddles, but Tim decided to make one to exactly fit Nell. Two boards will lay on her back, on either side of her spine, and spread the weight of the load. But these boards need to accommodate her back, which changes shape along its length. See, at this point her back is more or less that angle, mm -hmm. but up here it's very much steeper. So we're going to have to make a straddle that changes his angle. Interesting challenge. Each board needs to be twisted so they fit properly. One one way and the other one the opposite way. So Tim made plywood profiles that mirrored Nell's back and then steamed the boards so they could be bent into shape. It took an hour in the fish kettle. Then he screwed them to plywood shapes while they cooled and set into their new shape. This is where they twist. And they fit at Nell's back. Well, these are just to roughly hold it in place. I might have to move this up a little bit. Cut this off a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Eeyore, are you helping at all, Eeyore? Okay, mind it up. Eeyore, honestly, are you helping? For the next step, I took Nell on a trip to our local saddlery. Marie has a small workshop where she repairs harnesses, saddles and bridles and sells horse tack. She agreed to make leather straps to fit the straddle onto Nell. Nell is an exceptionally patient customer. And then long back to there. We're pushing that as far forward as we can. Aren't we? So you've, got, you've got to think you can have your padding in there. I know we're going to be above it. You want that buckle up, up and on that padding, don't you? <laughs> well, okay. nothing that can't be done with baler twine. Baler twine is very handy. And about... I would come off the top more. Marie so took yeah, measurements yeah. for the leather parts and we marked yeah. where they will loop through the straddle. Confident that it would now fit, Tim took it apart again. He used the plywood shapes as templates for making the final cross pieces in elm. This was a piece of timber that we found in the barn when we came here. Finally, he is a suitable use for it. Then he made slots in the shaped boards for the straps and rounded over their edges. Back to the saddlery, where Marie makes final adjustments to the leather straps. Back there, we're going to have a little bit of room. Yeah. Room there so it's not tight, so that she can take the strain and it's not biting in. Yeah. She then skillfully stitches everything together by the, hand. The waxed thread, isn't it? Yes, it's tiger thread. Right. That's very strong. It's already waxed. Tiger thread made out of tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Why <laughs> is it called tiger thread? Just a brand name. Okay. This is to uh, double stitch. needle, and then you, what you do is you put it through and you put a twist over. So one through. Mm -hmm. The other one's over the top. Twist, pull, even pull. Um, so basically every stitch is interlocked like that. Yeah. Rather than like a machine stitch. You want it nice and strong. Oh yes. And if one stitch goes, the rest don't. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> Otherwise you're in trouble. The donkey is in trouble or... The donkey's whatever. gone down the road. Yeah, the donkey's <laughs> gone down the road and whatever was loaded on the donkey is in trouble. She uses a special saddler's interlocking double knot. Should it break in one place, the other knots don't come loose but stay tight. Very important for safety reasons. 
She shows me a leather half glove some saddlers use to protect their hands. This kind of work is extremely tough on hands and fingers. Okay, you put it over your... What is it? Your hook over your thumb. Meanwhile, Tim got on with the parts that the baskets sit on. More about that in a minute. Then Tim cuts curves into the top parts of the straddle. Finally, the straddle was glued and screwed together and treated with preservative and linseed oil. Now then, let's see how the whole thing comes together. Hello, little man. Where are you going? Carol was around to help you us. No, no. Are you filming already? Keep things steady. There we go. Okay. I got oh, a nice. donkey halter yeah. and the thick mark. pad for underneath the straddle from a French supplier. Difficult to do the crotches, isn't it? Oh, sorry, darling. Just as well, she's a very patient and forgiving sort of thing. Both ears. Both ears. Oh. It's handy that they have a line down the middle, so you know where the <laughs> middle is. I'm not that strong, though. <laughs> Are you all right, Sandra? I'm on standby, but not that. very useful with my crotches. OK, so it's, she now has an, a neck strap, belly band, and then this bit... Sorry, darling. It's a tail. What's it called, Sandra? Cropper. Cropper. Goes on there to stop the whole thing sliding. Oh. Probably could go a bit tighter, couldn't it? Yeah, it was. And these little um, what do you call these? Square rings. They drop <laughs> over the top. And wow. The plan is when there's a bit of weight on there, they'll all lock in tight. Yeah. And yet come off quite easily. We haven't, as I say, this is the first time. The same on this side. Good girl. Yeah, it's good girl. Okay. They're basically sitting on this little ledge, which is hanging off the frame, off the straddle. Uh, but they would tip out except for this bit of cloth, or this um, tape. And I hope that that will be enough. We'll put the other one on. What do you think, Daniel? And Nell looks pretty good in her new outfit. You're very good, aren't you? Very patient. Hey, uh, hello? Not enough of Out the way. Up. So far, so good. The girth could be a bit tighter. We must make more holes in the strap. We feel like we're on a fashion walk. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit wet for the potatoes because it's much worse in the potato field. More importantly, we need a good spell of dry weather now to put it all to a real test in the potato field. We'll have to wait for the field to dry out, but we're all ready. 